Governor Kim Reynolds says she will once again send National Guard members to the southern border. Now, our Iowa State Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks reports on the governor's announcement after she returned from her third trip to the Texas-Mexican border. Customs and Border Protection data shows that December saw the highest number of Border Patrol encounters with undocumented migrants than any month in fiscal year 2023. If we want this crisis to end, then we have to help stop it. Because the president won't and hasn't, the federal government won't and hasn't, both have ignored it for more than three years. Amid a showdown between the Biden administration and Texas Governor Greg Abbott about installing razor wire at the southern border, Governor Kim Reynolds says she and other governors stand with Abbott. Half the country, half the country, 25 governors have said they're going to stand with Governor Abbott and do what this president refuses to do. At a press conference Monday morning, the governor announced she's sending the Iowa National Guard back to the southern border. I've spoken with both the Adjutant Gen Major General Osborne of the Iowa National Guard and Commissioner Baines with the Department of Public Safety to start preparing for a return mission to the border. I've also informed Governor Abbott uh, that Iowa stands ready again to support Operation Lone Star. President Joe Biden and a bipartisan group of senators announced a $118 billion plan over the weekend that increases border security measures along with additional aid for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan. But Reynolds claims that the president could take action already. He has the authority right now, today, to do, to follow the law that Congress put in place. We don't need a new law. He needs to follow the existing law. He is not denying illegal entry into the country. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says this is no time for political games. This is one of the most important pieces of legislation that the Senate has seen in years and years and years. And we cannot let politics get in the way of passing this legislation. The governor says she's still working on the specifics with the Guard and Texas officials on when more Iowans could deploy to the southern border. Outside the statehouse, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.